As a former winner of the US Open, it, um, it really is fantastic to see the event back to the, the heights that it really deserves to be. Um, for me in particular, the US Open really was a defining event in my career and um, to, to, to win, having won the event uh, twice and to win it back to back and to be on the same trophy as the great names that, that are already on there really was uh, a special feeling for me as a player. And, Coming back now and seeing what US Squash has done to the event this year and uh, seeing the guys' reaction to playing in such an, an event is, uh, is really very, very special and um, really sort of still proud to be involved in the US Open in, in obviously a different capacity, but um, as, a, as a player it was just one of them events that felt really comfortable at and, and really got looked after um, during the event and um, it's just one of them titles that everyone can associate with. Um, it spreads across many other sports and to call yourself the US champion, US Open champion is, uh, is very, very special. Life after playing and winning trophies and, and titles and being successful is, uh, is obviously very, very difficult. Um, I know a lot of players struggle with it. I know a lot of players in higher profile sports really struggle with it. Um, for me in particular, it's just got busier. <laughs> busier and, and probably more demanding, but still great and, and still loving being involved in the sport, loving being involved in squash and um, hopefully just trying to make a difference, you know, to, to a sport that's given me so much over, over a long period of time. I've never ever wanted to do anything different from being a, being a very, very uh, young boy. I always wanted to be a professional squash player. And I think towards the end of my squash career, I always wanted to stay involved in squash and, and stay involved particularly in the PSA, which thankfully I've been able to do. Fondest memory in my squash career is certainly the US Open. Um, in 2004, it was the defining event of my career. It was an event that I won in Boston. I beat Peter Nickel in the final, which was a special win for me anyway. And it was the tournament that, that I won, and which took me to, to world number one. Um, and that was the biggest goal that, that I'd set myself. Um, a really strange feeling afterwards, um, having thought about something for many, many, many years, worked exceptionally hard to try and get there, and then all of a sudden it happens, is a, is a very, very strange but nice feeling. And um, to do it in an event that, like the US Open, which, which I'd always been successful at, I'd always enjoyed playing, just made it that extra bit special um, and it was something that I'll remember for the rest of my life. What I love about squash is it's such a all-round demanding sport and I think anyone who's played squash, anyone who's tried it has an immediate respect for what these guys do on this court um, and I think that's one of the biggest things for, for me and especially in my role now at the PSA is just getting this sport to as many people as, as we possibly can because like I've said anyone's, anyone who's had a go at it and anyone who's tried to play to any sort of a level really knows what it, what it, what it involves and um, I, think, I think for me it's the, it's the you know, like I've said you need a little bit of everything you can't just be good at one thing and be good at squash you've got to have a little bit of everything speed, endurance, flexibility, skill and I think the level that these guys are taking it to nowadays is, uh, is something that I look at and I know a lot of former players look at and just are pretty wowed by it. And it's, uh, it's going to be pretty intriguing where they go from now because the level that they're playing at nowadays and the shape that they're in is, uh, is pretty incredible. And uh, it's great for us. It's great to be a spectator because uh, looking at what they do on there right now is, is painful to watch sometimes. They'll be going through, all these players will be going through different, very individual feelings. Um, I'm sure some of them are, are excited. There'll be a couple of guys playing who, uh, who have maybe not been in this position before. Um, there'll be some that have. And it's a very, very personal feeling before a big match. Um, nerves need to be controlled. Um, excitement needs to be controlled. Um, enthusiasm needs to be controlled. But all these guys are so professional nowadays, they'll have prepared so well, they'll be, they'll be in the best shape of their lives and they'll be looking to, to really sort of put their names on the map. And uh, having an event like this, having a title like this and really wanting to win this event 
will be you know really high on everyone's agenda and um, it will be really exciting for for everyone here who witnesses this this week because I'm you know I think it's I think the setting and the and the venue is going to really bring the best out of these players and um, it's going to be great to watch and very intriguing.